Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a huge collective athletic wear haul and athleisure. Um, from a couple different places, I shopped at Gymshark, Alphalete, and then a lot of stuff from Balance. But we'll go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually the set that I'm wearing. This is the Crest. I think is what this collection was called, the Crest set. So this is like an oversized t-shirt with the matching shorts. And I will have a video of me trying it on to the side so you can actually see. But I got it in this brown, kind of purpley brown color. And then I also got the same set in two other colors. So I got it in the heathered gray. So this is the t-shirt. And one thing I want to note about the t-shirt is that the Gymshark logo is actually embroidered on instead of just pressed on because sometimes the iron-ons can kind of come off over time. So the embroidered logo definitely makes it feel better quality and should last longer, so that's good. And here is the matching shorts. So these are like an oversized short with a cinch waist. I'd say they're like medium rise, mid rise. They're not fully high rise, but they're definitely not low rise. And then one thing I want to show too is the V in the back. So this makes your glutes look really good and something I don't see on a lot of uh, oversized shorts. So that's a really good touch. And then I also got it in a blue color. They also came out with crew neck sweatshirts with this collection and I might actually go back and get at least the gray one because I think the blue one is sold out. But the, if these are still available, I will link them in the description box below. And all of this stuff, if available, will be in the description box below. So here is the blue color. It's like a medium blue with maybe like a touch of purple in it. This is showing pretty true to color. And then I also got the matching shorts to go with those as well. So yeah, these are really, really comfy sets. Um, I live in stuff like this when I get off work, so I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. The inside of these shorts is that like super soft material, like fuzzy material. So these are super comfortable. And then the t-shirts, they're not like a Gildan's t-shirt by any means, but they're not like soft on the inside. But to me, that makes them super comfortable and really wearable, and I won't get too hot in them. So I really like those. Okay, so next I'm going to go over the stuff that I got from Alphalete. Um, I bought this during the, what is it called? The Amplify launch. So they came out with some more colors in the Amplify leggings, and I had actually never tried them before, so I wanted to try them out. So the first thing I got is the... Amplify biker shorts in black. So I should have said this at the beginning, but my size is like a true medium. I'm perfectly in between a small and a medium. Um, I usually get my leggings in a size small because I like them to be really compressive and fitted, but a lot of my leggings now that are size smalls are just getting too tight and a little bit too uncomfortable to wear. So in these Amplify Biker Shorts, I decided to try a size medium. Now you'll see in the try-on clip, they are just a little bit big for my liking. However, the way I plan on wearing these is like a loungy short instead of like super high intensity workouts. I'm perfectly fine with that. I would rather be comfortable than have them too tight and be uncomfortable. So. I do actually really like these. They did come a little bit longer on me than I anticipated. Uh, they're a little bit longer than the Balance Rider shorts, which is the biker shorts that I'm used to wearing. Um, so that is one thing to note. The Alpha Elite logo is embroidered in as well, so that's good. And it has a three-tiered waistband. So at the top, the waistband is like a little bit tighter, and then it goes down into less compression all the way down. It also has the booty scrunch. 
And these are the first leggings that I've ever actually tried with the scrunch. And it seems like a good quality scrunch, like it's not going to rip the first time you try it on. And that's also another reason I wanted to get a size medium in these is because I didn't want the butt area to be so tight that the scrunch effect, that it couldn't fully <laughs> show the scrunch effect, if that makes sense. If it was too tight, I feel like it would just be pulled so tight that it wouldn't actually contour your butt <laughs> like it's supposed to. So that's one reason I decided to size up and I'm glad I did. I also got a pair of the Amplify leggings and this is in the color Mocha. This is like really, really pretty mocha brown color. It's like a lighter taupey brown. And same thing, it's got the three-tiered waistband, the embroidered Alphalete logo with the booty scrunch. Same thing, I got these in a size medium, so they fit very comfortably. And these actually aren't too big. I would do a workout in these. Um, however, this material is like a brushed, softer material so it's probably more delicate so I would be careful not to rub like a barbell against these because you could end up snagging them um they do I don't know if you can see like they do collect lint a little bit but that doesn't really bother me all that much and I do have dogs but I don't see any dog hair on them so maybe they won't collect too much but I really really like this color um and it's a neutral color so very wearable so I'm excited about these. And the last thing I got from Alphalete actually took me by surprise. So I was trying to reach free shipping. I'm the worst. If I'm like close to free shipping, I would rather spend more money to not have to pay for shipping, even though that means I'm spending more money, but at least I have something to show for it. So I got the Alpha Lux Harmony leggings. So these are from a previous launch. So these actually weren't new on the site. And these are in the color Volcanic Ash. And I got these in a size small because they were sold out in the medium. But like I said, all my other leggings are size small, so I knew I could make them work. Now, these took me by surprise because these are a lot softer than the Amplify. I guess it's the Alpha Lux material that makes it that way. So if you've never tried any of these Alpha Elite leggings, just know that the Alpha Lux is very, very soft and very stretchy. And one thing I liked about these Harmony leggings is, I don't know if you can see, but I know in the try on clip you'll be able to, they have like this contour that goes above with like a rib detail. And it's super, super flattering on the glutes. And it also comes around front. So I thought I wouldn't like it at first, but when I actually tried these on, it looked very flattering. These are in the Volcanic Ash, and I just got this color because I thought it would match a lot. And like I said, they were uh, sold out at the size medium, so I got these in a small, and they still fit great. They actually look really good, so I'm glad I got a small. Uh, I feel like if I would have got a medium, there would have been extra fabric. So now I'm going to jump into my favorite athletic wear brand at the moment, which is Balance Athletica. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this Allura bodysuit. So this is like a tank top bodysuit. It's super, super stretchy and super, super compressive. Um, it's double lined, so you don't have to wear a bra with this, which is really good. This is actually quite a bit tighter than I thought it was going to be, but it does flatter the body really well. And I think it's that way so you can go without a bra. Um, so it is a thong bodysuit, which is really, really comfortable and you don't have to wear, worry about panty lines. This is a size medium and it was pretty tight. So I probably could have done a large to be more comfortable, but it might have been too big. And if I lost any weight, it probably wouldn't have fit. So I'm glad I went with a medium. And it does have the Vitality logo on the back, but it's very, very subtle, which I like because I don't like a lot of branding. So I'm glad that they did it that way. So the next item I got from Balance is the Tenacity Rider Shorts. So the Tenacity leggings are one of my favorite pair of leggings 
from Balance because it's a performance material. It's super, super stretchy and comfortable and it's like that silky material and it does not collect lint or dog hair, which is one of my favorite things about it. So when they came out with these in rider shorts, I had to get them. Um, I prefer the rider shorts over the regular Tenacity shorts, which is like their shorter version because I got these thick thighs and I do not like them rubbing together. <laughs> So I like to get the longer versions and you can kind of like hike them up a little bit so they look shorter, but they do stay in place really well. So they don't ride up on their own, but you can pull them up and it doesn't look bad. These ones have the silver triangle logo. I do prefer a black logo to make it more subtle, but this small logo does not bother me at all. One thing too is it does have the seam that runs down the front and you'll notice that in the try on clip and then balances signature booty contour as well. So absolutely love these. I know I will enjoy these during the summer for working out because these are my favorite leggings to work out. So from the element collection, uh, the vitality line under balance, I got the Riley tee and I got it in this gray color. I think it was called silver. So one thing I do want to note, on the Riley tee is that it was advertised as an oversized tee so I thought it was going to be very similar to the Muse tee just like a more oversized version and I love oversized t-shirts however these Riley tees were a little bit more oversized than I was expecting and it doesn't bother me in like the body of the shirt however the sleeves are really really wide so I did wash and dry this one. I'm sorry, I didn't say earlier, but I got this in a size medium. So I did wash and dry this to try to shrink it a little bit and that did help, definitely a lot. So this gray shirt has been dried to kind of shrink it, but I got the same t-shirt in black and this one has not been washed and dried. So this one has not been shrink. So in the try on clips, maybe you'll be able to tell a difference, but I do think if I was going to repurchase a crop t-shirt from Balance, I think I'm gonna stick to the Muse tees just because of how wide the sleeves are. So like I said, I got the same exact t-shirt in black. It has the Vitality logo on the front. I don't even know if you can see it. It's so subtle, but I do like these shirts and I will wear them as like a good basic, but I think I prefer the Muse tees just because of how wide they are. Speaking of the Muse tee, I do have a Muse tee here. I think this is in the color Dune and I think this released with the Outlander collection. I just happened to pick it up. I think it may have been on sale. Um, but yeah, this is this Dune color. It's a pretty neutral brown and these will go really well with the camo leggings that I picked up from the same collection or just to wear with the black Tenacity Rider shorts. So this is a really good basic. It has the silver triangle logo, so very minimalist logo, and it has a raw hem, just like the Riley tees. So yeah, I just think I prefer the fit and the shape of the Muse tee over the Riley tees. Okay, from the Element collection, I got this top. Let me look. I don't remember what this top is called. I do not remember what this top is called, but I will put it in the description box or on the screen. But this is from the Element Collection and it is technically a top. I think it's advertised as a top, but you can wear it without a bra or I did personally. I really love this color. It's like a bright neon yellow green. I think it's more green than yellow, but it's not so bright like highlighter bright. So it's it's bright neon, but like not in your face, a little bit more wearable neon. And then it has a functioning zipper in the front. And if you have it all the way down, it still doesn't show too much cleavage or anything. So you can wear it down. You can wear it zipped all the way up. It has like the elastic band at the bottom, which I found pretty comfortable and gave a little bit more support to the top. 
and then it has balance embroidered in white right there and then down the back there's a elastic strip going down the back that just says balance so I thought this was really really cute to wear as like a workout top or I mean you can lounge around in this as well it's super super soft and stretchy I believe this may be made out of the cloud material so that would explain why it's so soft and stretchy but I really really like this top especially for the summer okay so now jumping in to some of the quartz items this is the energy bra so these came out before in a previous quartz collection I believe but they did do some updates I did not shop the previous quartz collection so I have no idea how different they are but just from what I've heard the previous quartz collection was super super compressive super super tight and uncomfortable like I said that's just what I've heard so I got this bra in a size small because all of the feedback I had heard from all of the athletes was that this was super super stretchy and you could go with your smaller size so I'm really glad that I did because like they said this is super super stretchy super comfortable I think this might be one of my favorite items if not the if not my favorite item out of the quartz launch um, because of how stretchy and comfortable it is so it has like this diamond texture to it as well as the front patch logo. It's a razor back. And there were some complaints about the straps being too long and not being adjustable enough. But for my body type and shape, I didn't have a problem with that. These, this top fits me perfectly. To go along with that top, I did get the Cloud Rider shorts. I was so, so excited to hear about these launching because I'm a really big fan of the Cloud fabric. I have the Cloud leggings in Midnight and they're one of my favorite pairs of leggings. More for lounging and comfort because these are so soft and stretchy that I would worry about working out in them because I feel like they would snag or pill really easy and like I said thick thighs rubbing together um, so I just try to stick to low intensity or just lounging around in the cloud fabric this color I believe was called sunstone and it's meant to be like a tonal match to this amber color so I'm excited I picked these up I did take a risk and get these in a size medium I'm usually or I usually stick to a size small in all balance leggings, but these sold out in a size small. And like I said, I'm in between sizes, so I thought I could try a medium. These do fit me very comfortably. These aren't as compressive as I usually like my bottoms to be, but that's okay because like I said, probably not gonna work out in these, probably just going to wear them to lounge around in, so that doesn't bother me. So I'm a huge, huge fan of these. I would probably have ordered them in a size small, but like I said, they were sold out and I'm fine with the mediums. The next thing from the Quartz collection that I got is the Flow Bra. This is in the color Aquamarine and I got this in a size small. Uh, I got it in a size small for D plus. So I really like that Balance has added cup sizes to their sizing range for some of their items because one of the issues that I do have with sports bras sometimes is there not being enough fabric and it gives me way too much cleavage, which there's a time and place for. It doesn't always bother me, but sometimes I would like a little bit more. So I'm really glad that they added that. I'm a 34D, so this bra fits me really, really well. I like how it's a longer line bra. And also in the back, you can clip the straps so in the try on you will see this on with the back clipped but you can also go without it being clipped as well so I really really like this so I got another energy bra in the color obsidian I was really really excited for this color because I know dark browns are a huge trend this year and this is like a really, really rich dark brown with like a hint of purple. And this color is so flattering. If you are 
if you have insecurities or you just like to hide your imperfections, this is the color for you. This slims you down so much. Um, and it was just so much more flattering on me personally. It has the front patch logo just like the other energy bra. And I do enjoy that the bra pads inside this one are a darker color too. So you don't have to worry about the bra pad showing through, which I didn't really have an issue with that anyway. Uh, I did get this in a size small as well. And it fit me perfectly. To go along with that energy bra, I also got the cloud leggings in the color obsidian. And this color was so, so flattering on me. I felt like it hid more of my imperfections than the sunstone color, the orange shorts. Uh, so if you're worried about that or like cellulite, then this color is what I would recommend. So these are the full length leggings, super, super stretchy, super, super soft. They do collect lint, unlike the Tenacity fabric, but um, that doesn't bother me too, too much. I can just use a lint roller. The back logo is embroidered as well. It The embroidered logo on this color in particular is a little bit more purple than brown, but from a distance you can't really tell and I actually kind of like the, the contrast. So yes, huge, huge fan of the cloud leggings and a huge, huge fan of the obsidian color. I also got a, another flow bra. This is in the color Smoky Quartz, I believe. So this is a neutral brown color. Uh, I did try this on in the try on clip with the straps unclipped, but like I showed you in the aquamarine color earlier, you can hook the back straps together and make it a racer back. So this is a long line bra, super, super stretchy super comfortable. I also got this in a small 4D plus cup sizes. So yeah, super, super pretty color. And it goes really, really well under the infinity wrap top. So I was really, really intrigued, even though it's a hundred degrees basically outside every day. So I won't get much wear out of this in the summer. I think this will be really, really good when fall time comes around. So it's super, super soft, super, super stretchy, and this really nice ribbed material. And I always find like wrap tops super flattering on me. I do have a D cup chest, so it makes the girls look good. <laughs> That's all I know to say. It does have thumb holes, which I personally am not a huge fan of thumb holes, but these don't bother me. I just don't like things being on my hands because I feel like I'm going to get the sleeves dirty or caught on something, but that's just me. I know some people love them and they're a must. I do like how the waistband kind of comes together. It cinches in your waist really nicely. Yeah. So this is super comfortable, super stretchy, but way too warm for the weather outside right now but eventually I'll get to wear it and I did get this in a size medium which I do try to always stick with at least a medium in most tops so yeah okay that is it for this active wear haul I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave any video suggestions down in the comments or tell me what your favorite items were from this haul if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!